Is death the final stage of life? Even though no one exactly knows what happens to us when we die, increasing our understanding of death can help us appreciate life more fully. The end of our lives is certain, but what kind of legacy will we leave? Even after death, everyone is aware that you have passed away. Nonetheless, for some unexplainable reason, you are conscious of this fact. When you find out this dirty little secret, you will be completely shocked. So watch this video till the end as we show you. Scientists are shocked to claim that after death, you are totally aware that you have died. Researchers have been examining people's experiences of coming close to death over the course of the last few decades in an effort to better understand how the brain is affected by death. Even though they were deemed by medical authorities to be clinically dead or asleep at the time of their near-death experience, some individuals who've had near-death experiences are able to afterwards report with pinpoint precision what was going on around them. In spite of the fact that the precise mechanisms that underlie near-death experiences are still poorly understood, research indicates that we retain consciousness for around 2 to 20 seconds after our breathing and heartbeat stop. Whenever a person has gone through cardiac arrest, also known as the termination of the electrical impulse, which drives the heartbeat, this is when the time of death is deemed to have occurred. As a direct consequence of this, the heart becomes rigid. When the heart stops beating, this is the point at which doctors and other medical professionals regard as being the most conclusive evidence that a person has passed away. But what exactly is going on in our heads while this is taking place? Does the sense of death suddenly take control, or does it gradually make its way into our consciousness? Researchers had investigated people who have come dangerously close to death in an effort to understand how the brain is affected by death. They have made a starting discovery, which is that just before brain death, there is a burst of electrical signals that enters the brain. According to a research in 2013, which looked at the electrical impulses occurring within the brains of rats, the animals went into a heightened state of awareness immediately prior to death. Some researchers are coming around to the idea that near-death experiences were brought on by a combination of decreased blood supply to the brain and aberrant electrical activity that occurs within the brain. Therefore, the archetypal passage of white light could be caused by an increase in the activity of brain pathways. Recently, a researcher, Dr. Sam Pania from New York University Langone School of Medicine, along with his colleagues, conducted research into the specifics of how the brain passes away. In prior study, Dr. Pania has performed experiments on animals to investigate the minutes immediately before and after a subject's passing. In addition to that, he has researched experiences that are very close to death. Those who have gone through something similar often describe feeling as though they are flying about the room while simultaneously becoming conscious of the medical staff working on their body. They will remember seeing doctors and nurses work, and they will mention having knowledge of whole discussions, as well as visual sights that were going on, which are things that the patient would not have been aware of. This was confirmed by the medical professionals. But how can people who are, in all practical terms, dead be aware of what is going on around them? And even after our respiration and heartbeat have stopped, we continue to be conscious for around 2 to 20 seconds after the event. It is believed that the cerebral cortex can function for that amount of time when oxygen is not present. This is the portion of the brain that is responsible for thinking and making decisions. In addition to this, it is in charge of interpreting the data that has been gleaned from our senses. During this time, you lose all of your brainstem responses, including things like your gag reflex and pupil reflex, among other things. It won't take long before the waves coming from cerebral cortex are no longer noticeable. Despite this, it may be a few hours before our thinking organ is completely turned off. In most cases, CPR is carried out when a person's heart stops beating. This will offer around 15% of oxygen that the brain needs in order to function normally. You will eventually start to get brain functioning again if you are successful in restarting the heart, which is the goal of CPR. 
Brain cell death processes are still occurring the longer when you perform CPR, and the only difference is that they are occurring at a little slower rate. Dr. Pania, as well as his colleagues, also looked at the large number of Americans and Europeans who have survived a cardiac arrest. In a similar way, a group of scientists might study how love feels to people. We're trying to figure out exactly what happens when people die, because we know that this will be the same for everyone when they die. While this is going on, we are simultaneously conducting research on the human mind and awareness in relation to the afterlife. To understand whether awareness is completely erased after death, or whether it remains after death for some length of time, and how this links to what's occurring inside the brain at any given moment. One of the goals is to watch how the brain behaves and responds while the patient is experiencing cardiac arrest through both the process of dying and the process of being revived. To what extent does oxygenation of the brain need to take place before it can function properly? What changes take place in the brain after revival? Finding out where the boundaries could lead to an improvement in reviving techniques, which in turn could save a significant number of lives each year. Well, what are your thoughts on this? Let me know down in the comments below. I am excited to see what you got for me about this one. Please like and subscribe to the channel, and thank you so much guys for watching. Want to see more mystery content? Check out our other videos too.